Okay, so I have this story about my brother. Um, this happened a few years ago. Uh, it was a dream, actually, but um, all is well now. But at the time, you know, my brother is just, he's just a uh, super macho guy, you know. He, uh, he can do stuff himself, you know. He doesn't need anybody's help. I'm the same way. Uh, I think a lot of guys are the same way. But anyway, so I had this dream, and it was me and my brother driving on the freeway. Sun is going down, and... We start to run out of gas and so he's like we need to pull over so he pulls over on the shoulder of the highway or the freeway sorry and um we get out and we have to walk so i was like okay and so we're about to walk but he's like oh no we gotta go back we have to get some stuff because he doesn't want to leave some stuff in the car so i was like okay so we get the bags out of the car you know the things that we had and then he starts to pick up the bags, but he doesn't let me help. And he's just doing it by himself. So he picks up all the stuff, he takes it by himself, and then he starts to go. But before he starts to go, I tell him, Christian, I love you. I don't know why, but I did. And he didn't, he didn't hear me. And then he just didn't look at me, and then he just proceeded to walk down the highway and I'm following him and so I'm following him and as I'm following him he starts to drop the bags he's not strong enough to basically carry all the, all the weight and so one by one you see stuff just dropping by dropping down on the floor and he's still going he's trying to still go and it just gets to a point where he just can't do it anymore he's really weak and I don't know why but he started getting smaller like he was getting smaller and weaker and by the end everything had dropped and I catch up to him and then I look down at him I'm looking down at him it's reversed I used to look up to him and he looks up at me and then he says, he says, Jared, did I tell you that I loved you when we were at the car? And I said, yeah, you did. And he just looked back down and then proceeded to try and pick things up and keep going. And then I woke up. I just wanted him to know that he didn't have to be alone. That's what happened when I woke up. I immediately called him and I was just like, Christian, like, we're here for you. I know you're struggling right now, but we're here for you. And don't be afraid. You don't have to carry all the, like, the load by yourself. And that was a few years ago. That was a, a very important part of my life. Uh, thankfully, everything's all good now, but, uh, yeah, that's it.